Hey guys, Kevin here from HockeyTraining.com and in this video I'm going to go over three different on-ice hockey conditioning workouts that you can do with your team. Before we move on to the three different conditioning workouts we have, I just want to quickly explain the reasoning behind the workouts. Hockey is primarily an alactic aerobic sport, meaning hockey players have short bursts of intense activities interspersed by periods of lower intensity activity, active rest, or passive rest. Despite this fact, Hockey coaches seem to always be doing gassers and suicides with their players without any real scientific method to their madness. Sure, that will make you tired and your legs heavy, but it isn't a great workout for hockey, especially if that's the only conditioning work your team is doing all season. If you're a hockey coach looking for the science behind hockey conditioning and energy systems, I recommend checking out our next level coaching program where Dan goes very in depth on the topic. Now on to the three different on ice energy system workouts. The first workout is going to be an alactic power workout. For all of these workouts, the players will start and stop on your whistle, and you're going to need a stopwatch to time the sets and rest. Part A of the workout is going to be 8 sets of 8 seconds all out effort skating with 90 seconds rest between each round, and then part B is going to be 8 sets of 10 seconds all out effort with 2 minutes rest between each round. Next we have the alactic capacity workout. Part A is 8 sets of 10 seconds all out effort with 45 seconds rest between rounds. Part B is 8 sets of 12 seconds all out effort with 45 seconds between rounds. You will notice different variations in this video, but the easiest way to do the skating is straight line, goal line to goal line. The last workout is anaerobic lactic work. Part A is 6 sets of 30 seconds all out effort with 60 seconds of rest between rounds. Part B is 4 sets of 45 seconds all out effort with 90 seconds of rest between rounds. Because ice time is valuable to a lot of hockey teams, I would recommend that most teams do their conditioning off the ice, but for teams with lots of ice time, these are great conditioning workouts to run through and will be much more beneficial than the regular gassers that have no science behind them. I hope you enjoyed this hockey training video, and if you want to learn more about hockey conditioning, check out our next level coaching program, which includes an 87 page manual on hockey training from a coach's perspective. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and share it with any hockey players you know. Train hard guys.